Hello class, Dr. Parker here. I'm going to create a supply and demand curve in Excel given the criteria from our assignment that I've pre-populated here for the price, the quantity demanded, and the quantity supplied. And once we chart these numbers, we'll be able to determine the equilibrium for the price and the quantity. So we'll go ahead and highlight the area that we want to chart. We'll do an insert and we'll go scatter plot. Uh, line scatter plot and there we have our supply and demand curves however we would like to see the price on the vertical axis and the quantity on the horizontal axis so we'll want to invert those by clicking right clicking anywhere on the chart and selecting data the best thing to do is to go ahead and remove both the supply and demand curves and create new ones and determine our parameters by clicking add and we'll do the demand for uh, the demand first by naming it as such and we'll select the demand quantity and hit enter and second we'll do the price and hit enter and we have our downward sloping demand curve so now we'll go ahead and add the supply curve and we'll select the supply range hit enter we will select the price again as we did with the met the demand and hit enter and click OK and OK and here we have our intersecting supply and demand curves and now we are able to determine the equilibrium at about one hundred and twenty five dollars a quantity of seventeen hundred and fifty so let's do an example of the supply or the demand curve shifting to the left let's say consumer preference has changed and the quantity for demand is going to decrease so I've put these numbers already and I'll just paste them here and you'll notice how the demand curve shift slightly to the left and thus we have a different equilibrium of about $110 say and a quantity of 1600 now let's watch the supply curve shift to the right assuming that materials are cheaper and they're able to make the product cheaper as well so I'll just copy this and paste it into the supply data and there we have the supply curve shifting to the right and what that does to the price and the equilibrium the price is now roughly ninety dollars with a higher quantity of say eighteen hundred and you can play with these numbers for different scenarios either price quantity or supply to see how it impacts the supply and demand curve and the equilibrium